Hey, I'm Jasmine Taylor with Press Pals Productions, and I have here with me the one and only Jersey boy with the good hair, Rodney. Oh, sh show him the ways, show him the ways. <laughs> You know, my hair used to be long, everybody be like, oh, you got Jerry Curly, you got Esther. I'm like, nah, I never had that. I just put some water in it and pat it down, and I'm good to go. See where we're from, that's the good hair. The boy yeah. got the good hair, and the no. girls always fighting You know what they always say? You ever hear me say they got Indian in their family? Yeah. I really do. I really do, though. You from the Shawnee? The you know, I people? really do. Like, my mom's father, like, had Indian in his blood. Like, I really do. And the hair, so. the skin tone, you see it's summertime now, almost. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, what have you been doing since the last time I saw you back in 2015, maybe? Was it that long ago? I think so. Yeah, I think it was the first time I came yeah, here. Yeah, the first time. Yeah, so now what? This the fourth year, and um, fourth or third year, but one of them, I lost count. I know. But um, it's going good. It's you going know, it's good. going great. I think. I think. I think we're seeing progress, okay. but I think we need to keep staying diligent. Um, state coming down here representing. Our, all our artists, all our producers and songwriters. And engineers. And like engineers, that. yeah, because there's so much, you know. Behind we, the scenes. There's so much behind the scenes that we do. Like, people, you know, everybody's inspired by music. Everybody. No one can tell me they don't listen to music because it's everywhere. Universal. I went out today, I said, I'm going to go get a coffee. I went down the street, I walked to Dunkin' Donuts, get a coffee. And a song that I did with Whitney Houston, It's Not Right But It's Okay, was on when I walked in. Oh my, so, it's not right. There you go. It's so there she go. Okay. Yeah. There she go. So, but that just shows you, like, our music is everywhere, right? You it's get paid everywhere. for it. Well, you know what? You get paid because I don't want that. I don't want people to think that we're some upset, mean, mad people. Like, oh no, it's you just know, people will say, "You live in a big house. You drive a nice car. What are you complaining about?" Right? What I'm complaining about is not necessarily for myself. It's more so for the future. Right when I look into my daughter's eyes, and I know she's eight years old and wants to sing, and I'm like, yeah, but singers that don't write songs don't get paid from being played on the radio. And that's the next thing: the radio, the online music streams. The streaming, is the streaming is a big part for our songwriters, yeah. right? Because okay, so let's let's look at it yeah, like this. Break it down for me, because I keep here, hearing here you go. You ready how many, for this? Yeah, numbers and stuff. Okay, watch this. I produced an album on Brandy called Never Say Never. Mm -hmm. We sold 16 million albums worldwide. Huge success, right? We made a lot of money from royalties, from album yeah. sales, right? If that album right now was out today, it would sell according to streams, not necessarily selling. Because CDs don't sell and you can't go and Best Buy and all these places. Or they're fact, and stuff. They're taking yeah. all, they're all obsolete, right? And in a the, in the minute, they'll be obsolete in Target and Best Buy in the next six months, right? Yeah, that's so crazy to think. the only real way to consume music will be streaming. So Apple music titles, Spotify, exactly, SoundCloud, whatever. So, because the laws haven't been changed, we're not even making money as songwriters the way we should be. So, if that same album was to come out, and that same album that they did a billion streams, I still wouldn't have enough to pay my mortgage. And that's the next thing they say, like. A so many streams don't equal album sales. Oh, it's bad. And it's just like crazy. You think about that. It's it's off. It's off. It needs and to be changed. It needs to be changed. And, and you know, be and changed. I, I can't, you know, I can't point the finger at Spotify or Apple or Amazon. They have a company. They have a business. That's the thing. It's a business. Right. But we're here in D.C. It starts here when they start changing laws here. So uh, hopefully. They will hear our voices. Hopefully, they will see that we're really concerned by our consistency. This is a very consistent, consistent. and persistent group here. We do not have to come here every year, but we do. We stay here. We come here because we want to see change, and hopefully, hopefully, we'll start to see it. You know, I really want to see it because, again, it's these, it's the future songwriters. It's that young kid in D.C. right now who's in the studio while we're here in the interview. And that's the thing. Like these children, you say, are in the studio writing songs for this person and that person and then when it comes it's like your cut of the check is like this is they, more sense. <laughs> it's true like there's people that have made big songs big songs and they open up their publishing check and they're like but i can't make my apartment i can't pay my rent i gotta move back to wherever that's true that's what's going on right now it looks all good on instagram and social media, it looks great see that it looks great but the mail it's a different story it's a different story correct I appreciate your consistency. Thank you. Thank you. I believe push we, towards. we'll get there. Yes. I'm, we'll get I will. I, I, you know, the Bible like says the Bible says you reap what you sow, right? So I, I believe we've been sowing good good in our community, and, and I believe we'll reap good. Tell me, Brother Rodney. Word. Tell me. Word.
Thank you so Thank much. You.